Yeah, good day there. Uh, are you in Australia and have you recently connected to the NBN, the National Broadband Network? Well, I have, and I'm actually curious, and maybe somebody would like to leave a comment if anybody ever watches these videos of mine, uh, if you want to, you know, but I'm kind of curious about how you feel the performance of the NBN is, the fiber optic uh, cabling and all that jazz, compared to previous um, internet plans you may have been on, like I had ADSL 2 plus from Internode, which was quite fast, you know, uh, and they offered me a package where it would be twice the speed for about the same money. So I, I moved over to MBN and got a new, brand new router to suit uh, the MBN and all that jazz. And sure enough, when I had it all going, I test the speed with, you know, these uh, uh, web browser uh, speed test tools, and it would be twice the speed. Now, the effect this had was that I started gobbling up about twice the data. In fact, um, I had to increase my plan and get a more expensive um, service plan uh, with more data in it, you know, because I was running out of data before the end of the billing period all the time. Uh, and yet, I couldn't see any difference in either the quality of the images or the speed uh, when I'm browsing on the internet. And the way I judge things is not by, you know, like software tools or anything like that. I go on to YouTube. I like watching YouTube, you know, documentary and people's videos of how they worked how to do stuff. You know, anyway, it's my, one of my things I like doing. Uh, and there's a photographer I watch, Graham Houghton, his name is, and he's in the UK. And he goes to the south of France and uh, he photographs wildlife and I find him quite interesting. And he uses a 4K camera and he uploads in 4K. So when you watch Graham's videos, you can default from 4K if you can't keep up with the line speed there and the thing keeps buffering and stopping and starting all the time. You can go down to 1080p. Or you can drop down to 720p, which is still quite respectable on YouTube, or you can go lower, you know. Uh, but if you want to go to full screen mode on YouTube, 1080p and 4K is definitely, you know, a much superior image. You know, it's much clearer. And um, if the photography is good, you notice it quite significantly. You know? Now, under my old ADSL2 plan, the maximum I could go to and get free streaming without the thing stopping and starting with buffering all the time was 720p. That's all I could go to. It's okay, but you know, um, it'd be nice to be able to watch free streaming in at least 1080p. And I assumed that the NBN would allow me to do that. It didn't. It didn't make any difference. It still couldn't do 1080p on a YouTube video. And the same applied to 4K. Now this may be something to do with the software on the YouTube site, but I somehow doubt that. It didn't actually demonstrate any improvement in download speed while watching a YouTube video, which is probably the main reason why people want fast internet, you know. Now what's your experience? Now the situation with me is that uh, um, I like to upload videos. You know, I'm in full drive clubs and stuff, and and uh, I've got relatives overseas. I upload videos onto YouTube, uh, and at the moment, what's happening is that uh, whenever I go to upload a video, the um, the uh, router, the broadband router, stops me from 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 web browsing at the same time. If I'm uploading a video, it comes back and says, you've got no internet connection. And I can't open a, a web page on the browser at the same time as I'm uploading a video. Now, previously with the old ADSL2 plan, I could do that quite merrily. In fact, I could have, you know, about 10 web pages open and two web browsers and <laughs> all sorts of stuff, you know. But now, if I'm uploading a video, I basically have to just stop and go away and leave it. I can't do anything else. And the router tells me, you've got no broadband connection. <laughs> so I've had this looked into by my broadband uh, um, internet service.
and they just gave me a brand new I had a brand new one before but it was getting a bit hot so I thought maybe that's faulty so I've got another one which I've just installed and guess what it's exactly the same so it's it's a feature of the MBN perhaps is that, that what you're finding well I'd like to know because uh, remember what happened you know we in this town that we got fiber optic coming into the town which we already had anyway because I'm on a small country town and we're on a main highway between the two capital cities so we already had fiber optic going through here uh, and they didn't replace any of the wiring to the houses we've still got the old copper wiring coming to the houses so practically nothing actually changed in the superstructure um, and we were supposed to have fiber optic cable coming up to the house and I'm wondering if the fact that the government cheated us and downgraded the plan and gave us a Clayton's version of what was supposed to happen that they actually cheated us out of this high school we were supposed to be having and that would be something that would be good to know so if you feel that you've got a comment to make make a comment and perhaps we can get a bit of discussion going about this about what actually is happening what the real performance in practical terms is of the MEN. Have they actually degraded the upload speed of the internet and simply cheated us, which wouldn't be unusual in the history of the planet. Anyway, see you.